Haydn was a really prolific composer, and most people know that he wrote about 104 symphonies, but uh, a lot of people don't know that he also wrote 16 operas. And uh, the one Pinchgut's going to do, Armida, is number 15. So it was basically his, it was his second last opera and the last opera that he wrote for, uh, for Prince Esterhaz. <laughs> Uh, Haydn's Armida is a fantastic uh, magical opera. It uh, is based on the Torquato Tasso uh, epic length uh, poem that was written in 1581 in Italy. And it's, um, it's actually a, a fantastic war and love story set against the backdrop of the Crusades. Rinaldo is, uh, is a knight who is fighting to retake Jerusalem uh, and Armida is this, this sorceress who has been sent to sort of disarm him as, he, as it were. Um, uh, by whatever means she can. Armida is a fantastic, uh, crazy, magical sorceress and also the Queen of Damascus and she falls in love with the enemy. She falls in love with uh, Rinaldo who is uh, the bravest and strongest of the other army. We have uh, a wonderful Australian singer uh, that I've worked with before, Rochelle Durkin, who actually is resident in New York where we are right now. And uh, Rochelle, the last time I worked with her, uh, she played another sorceress, uh, Alcina, and she's fantastic at it. My alter ego is Armida because this will be the fourth time I've played an evil sorceress, all based on the same story. Rochelle is beautifully tall with this, uh, and fantastic on stage. You can't take your eyes off her. She's so alluring and seductive, and her voice moves just brilliantly. She has all this incredible coloratura that is perfect for this role. I have a real love for early music and this piece has a lot of fast moving passages, a lot of coloratura and I love sinking my teeth into that. It's, it's going to be exciting. Baroque opera, which is 18th century opera, is a fantastic uh, medium for an audience because there's no expectation. There are various locations and it's always interesting to see how the director and the design team are going to approach these different locations and also the trajectory of the story could be vastly different between one production and another. I've been trying to find uh, a really suitable project for, for Crystal with, with Pinch Gut for a while now um, and partly it's because uh, she really resonates with operas written before 1800. I like to call Baroque opera the director's canvas because you could paint any number of things uh, in any number of ways. You could do Haydn's Armida five times and come up with something different each time. The music allows you to think outside the box constantly because there's, there's no way to be rooted in, in, in either a visual location or even an emotional one. She's one of a group of young directors who really love the challenge uh, of trying to, to make something uh, contemporary and interesting out of uh, music written, you know, 300 years ago. What I love about Baroque orchestras is that there's such a great collaboration between pit and stage that you don't find anywhere else. Instrumentalists actually have to listen to the performer in order to react to play the right chord underneath the right word. Uh, so there's a huge investment um, on the side of the orchestra into the production and I, I really think that it, uh, when it, when it all gels together, it really creates an incredible result. The sound of a string section playing on period instruments, all on gut strings, can go from elegant and nuanced to being really raw uh, and, and very visceral and dramatic. There are so many colors that the, the players can achieve. And I also love the way that uh, when uh, period instrument orchestras play, they play with their whole bodies. You know, they're so enthused about it all. There is nothing, there, there's nothing half-hearted about uh, these players. They are so passionate about what they do. What makes Pinch Gut really special is the visceral juxtaposition of musical performance in a historically informed way on period instruments and a really exciting, sleek, dynamic, modern production. I love coming to Pinch Gut and putting both those elements together. Uh, it makes a really compelling, uh, exciting artistic product. Mm -hmm.